Hello world. Welcome back to Top Farms. We're walking our dog. Just wanted to do a video as we ended our work day. That's how we're choosing to end our work day by walking our dog. Like some somebody been down here messing with our sign. Oh, we gotta fix that on the way back. Fix the sign down there on the way back. I think it's always we don't always end our work day with I don't know if I, my wife ain't her work day, but I don't always end my work day by walking the dog. It's probably about twice a week I end the day by walking the dog. Usually when it's uh, not so hot outside like today, the clouds are overshadowing. And uh, uh, those are the days I normally choose to walk the dog. The good dogs, they have uh, their own room to uh, use the restroom. Uh, they have a doggy door down there, so they can use the restroom as they please. All right, baby? Uh-huh. Yeah, someone, they cut it. Yeah. Well, as you know, people... Oh, someone cut people our sign. here. Somebody cut our sign down here. You can see they were riding some kind of... What were they riding down here? Who knows what they were riding down here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can see the big track. Come on, up there to cut that air stuff and tore our sign down. You can't always be on on the alert and look out. Hey, uh, I'm glad they cut home. this down right here. Yeah. This was a hazard. You don't know there were snakes in here when you're coming through that night. Ooh. Don't show that dog taking a poop. Look, everywhere he go, he got to take a shit. Don't show him taking a poop. Nobody wants to see the dog taking a poop. Everywhere he goes. Ooh, that was ugly. He just take when we walk, he takes a poop so he can let other dogs know that he's here. Well, that's what it's all about. It looks so much clearer back here that they cut it. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on front face camera. Uh huh. So that uh uh, I don't have to hold my arms like this. Uh -huh. I can at least hold it out a little bit and be a little bit more comfortable. Okay. All right. We were walking back through these woods back here. My wife freaked out over a spider. I thought it was hilarious. I don't understand. I'm going to be posting that video soon. <laughs> I don't understand. What she got going on with these spiders? I don't like them. freak out like that. I don't like them. Huh? And plus, it was dark, so I couldn't see the spider web. It was not dark. It was dark. If you like to be, if you like to have a story that's over exaggerated, dial one eight hundred sister Gina, telling lies. <laughs> there is no such number. <laughs> that number doesn't exist. <laughs> Tell a lie. Meet it. Yeah, look at the weather. I mean, for people who don't get outside very much, like you me, know, if you're young and you're not coming outside, I mean, life is very short. You should try to see as much and do as much as you can. That way, you make your little life important. Because a lot of times, people's little lives are not important. You might go to work sit around and play video games, go to sleep, wake up, do the same things over and over again. I mean, in order to enjoy life, you got to make life worth living. So. And what's up here? What's up here? The road. That's what's up this way. And if y'all want to know why I'm wearing a hoodie and it's hot, because I don't want to get stung by nothing or attacked by anything. I thought, I thought her getting stung by a wasp would make her overcome her fears of bees and stuff. I never met somebody who was so afraid of everything. I'm not afraid everything, of everything. I just everything don't like bugs. Everything that's outside. Yeah, that's what's outside. I never met anybody like that who was just afraid of everything outside to the point where... It's hot than a mofo out here. And, and you're wearing a hoodie, long sleeve I'm wearing pants. a hoodie and some black pants. It's hot than a mofo out here. 
and I'm that's sweating. Ridic that's ridiculous. I'm sweating like crazy over here. I hope you drank enough water. I did. I used to wonder, I used to see people walking two dollars at a time. I'm like, how do they do? How do they walk two dollars at the same time? You know? It's a hassle walking one dog. What it is is as the dogs get older, they're not so you know that they're, they're not with blue's case energetic. that's not true. With blue's case that's not true. If blue if blue didn't have that thing around his neck, he would have been pulling you. Cause remember he used crazy. to pull you. Oh the choke collar? Uh-huh. Nah, because he don't want to get choked. But without when he was getting he was pulling you. He was just low. I mean he's not low. He's just young. I mean he's still still young now. Oh look, dog is taking a poop now. Don't he don't <laughs> show the dog taking a poop. Nobody wants to see that. That's disgusting. <laughs> little poop ball coming out of butt. Yeah, yeah. He was young, energetic, you know. Dogs are just like humans, you know. I mean dogs see somewhere new. They wanna explore, have a good time, and just run off just like a human being. But uh, you know, the dogs and stuff is they getting they're getting older, they're getting better. Where you can walk them both at the same time and it's okay. There's all kinds of land uh, out here too in the look in the city that we moved to. You got to let them have their little time to sniff around, too. You know, you got to stop for them. If they want to stop and take a sniff, let them do it. The city that we moved to is a little, little country, country little town. And, uh, you know, with it being a little country town, you just go anywhere in this town, and you just see wide open land. They say, you know, this land for sale out here, too. It's not the amount of land that... I want to sell, you know. She has to walk in the grass and ask for too hot. That's what they want to walk. I'm not going to tell them what to walk. They'll walk what they want to walk. They're just too hot. That's what they'll move. Now, you thanks for interrupting me. Sorry. My, I thought it was fine. But with all this land out here, you know, later on, as we're working, working our property and we develop our property more and more and more, it's taking time to develop it. But every day, putting work into it every day, whether it's three, Four, and in extreme cases, six hours of development into our land when it's fully operational, things are going smoothly. You know, we're extracting the finances out of it and we can move on to different phases and things that we want to do. You know, I will be looking for a larger track, you know, hopefully there comes something about 100 acres available. Of course, that's my end goal is to uh, get 100 acres of land Preferably clear land, but I'll take it with some forestry in it as well. But that's what we're working to. We're also working uh, right now in the short short term. We're putting in this work so we can uh, get our next business off the ground. Of course, we got about Hold on. Hmm? Hold on. camera angles and stuff like that. I'm messing the video up. Which, who cares if you mess the video up? But still, gee. Yeah, so, you know, we're working hard every day right now because uh, we have other businesses that we want to get off the ground. You know, the businesses that we want to get off the ground, you know, take small investments, but at the same time, you know, you have to work to build up 3,500. Another thing that we want to do besides doing a food truck, I want to get into vending machines, me, myself, you know, you know start off with, with just a few. At about $3,500 a machine, you know, you think in about five years, you know, you give it a five-year plan to make your money back off one machine. You know, but after that, you own, you know, you own the machine as soon as you pay for it. All you got to do is keep it restocked, find a good location to put it, you know, go visit the machine once a month, you know, make sure, make sure it's fully supplied, you know. Start with one. You know, it's a loss up front, but if you start with one vending machine, while you're making the money back from that one, you know, invest in another one. But the, the thing, the businesses that I want to do, none of the businesses that I want to do are get rich quick schemes, you know. I think the get rich quick businesses work. They work, but they work for people who already have 
substantial incomes who can dump substantial amount of incomes into a project and then liquidate the cash flow from it very quickly. Now, if you're a uh, uh, starting out entrepreneur, I don't think get rich quick schemes are for you. You know, something good I would say for for people to get into for very cheap that you can get into for minimum cost is real estate. You know, there's a uh, people in uh, urban communities talking about, you know, this is my block, this is my block. I run this block, I kill for this block and all this stuff and all that. When you don't own anything on in the neighborhood, but you, you're willing to die for some property that's not yours, you know? Instead of being willing to die for some property, for property that isn't yours, how about you go buy some of these cheap buildings, you know? Building some 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 places, man. They're they're past foreclosure. They've been through the foreclosure process, and nobody is buying them. After that, you can get properties for as low as paying the property tax, the back property tax. You know, I've been uh, I scoped out a few few that are away from our home. You know, don't think it's gonna be some really. Uh, a nice spot because it's, it's not you know it's not gonna be any nice spot it might not even be a spot that you yourself want to live on It'd just be a spot that you buy the property tax to be in a neighborhood where you have to pay you know less than a thousand dollars a year for property tax and uh what you have to pay less than a thousand dollars a year in property tax you make a uh let's say you make a Mm -hmm. uh, you get the property five ten thousand dollars you know you put another five thousand dollars into it you put another five thousand dollars into the property uh, after you put another five thousand dollars into the property you know you rent it out you know four hundred dollars a month you know you make your money back two years you got your money back if you get somebody to stay stay there for two years you know you got your money back the best thing to do though is to uh use it for uh, government housing section eight or, or something like that you know where you guarantee to get your money back and that's where making your investment into it comes into play you make that uh you make that investment into it you know and later on you will extract the wealth from it and that's just doing one but you know you can build it up the way you do more than one you know you do one you know you get somebody living in there you know they're paying for that one boom and before you even can make your money back or recoup your losses from that one from the first one you invest the money that you're making bring it back in into another one so you know the things that i think about as businesses which me I don't I don't have time nor desire to do real estate as a business one because you're dealing with other people you put all this money into uh, building the property up and uh, you rent it out to somebody and they don't appreciate it they just they don't appreciate it they depreciate it <laughs> I mean they come in there and they they uh, cause damage to the property you're liable for that stuff then you're liable for the property taxes you know makes it where it's not an interesting business for me but for uh, somebody else i mean it's, it's a good business if, if you're willing to put in the work you can get into it for really cheap and that's what makes it a good business because you can get into it for cheap and uh you can come out uh, making a pretty good penny but i think more like the plans that we have is for us and maybe it'll be the same for somebody else you know we plan on uh do, starting a food truck you know and that's that's something that i'll be happy to do a food truck to uh you know go service sporting events and, uh the such i don't mind that I think that's that's a good good business for us also i think uh you know uh Good business for us. Uh, who knows? Even in the future, we might get into an 
ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. We might also get our ice cream truck. Those are the type of businesses that I want to start. You know, there's different strokes for different different people. Like a business that you can start that's uh, it's fairly cheap. Fairly cheap to start. Uh, phenomenal. Once you get established, the profits are phenomenal. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know down here. Me, I've done a lot of traveling in my life. So I've seen the seen a lot of uh, good opportunities, you know, and one of those good opportunities is, is this place in New York, it's called Gory, it's called Gory, or it might be called Guru, I'm not sure, one of the, one of the, one of the two, it's a G-O-R-I, so I don't know if it's Gory or Guru, Guru. but uh, this place is like a wholesale, wholesale of clothing, doesn't do, they don't do shoes, but at the same time, they wholesale clothing, they wholesale uh, watches, uh, little trinkets like that, little fake jewelry. They wholesale, they wholesale that stuff. And, you know, it gets so low as if you order, you know, a large enough shipment. If you order a large enough shipment, you can get this stuff as low as a dollar. You know, you can get t-shirts as low as a dollar. Well, you know, if you're getting t-shirts as low as a dollar, you know, you turn around and uh, you sell them for $5, you know, you're uh, making five times the profit, you're making five times what you put into the business. I mean, and stuff like that, you know, all you would need is a van, you know, van, $3,000 investment for a van, uh, $2,000 investment to get it uh, sticker wrapped, to get it wrapped. And uh, another thousand dollars to get your merchandise. Uh, Two thousand dollars worth of merchandise will uh, make you ten thousand dollars. Make you ten thousand dollars. So by the time you get rid of your first inventory, you know you've come up uh, more than what you paid to start the business. Only thing is, this is why with every business that I think about that is a good venture. I say you need another, you need another job uh, beforehand. Eventually, you know, you can get rid of the second job or your primary job. Eventually, your uh, your own business will make enough to uh, where where it doesn't benefit you to go into work somewhere else. You'll make money more money on your on your own endeavors. But while you're building that stuff up. You know, you got to have a main source of income at first so you can have the finances to invest into whatever business field you're trying to go into. Because that's why a lot of uh, businesses fail is because of the lack of starting capital. You know, you got to have the capital to fund it. See, uh, with, the, with, our, with our farming endeavor, we're probably like $4,000 in, in the hole. You know, I've talked to some other farmers and they could be up to $100,000 in the hole. But, you know, just from us, we spend over $4,000 and uh, about 500 of it has been on uh, business fees. And uh, we still, we got to get it together because we got to go pay this BPTIN. And over the weekend, we didn't fill up out the forms. I got, just forgot, but... We need, to, we need to do that before Wednesday because we got to go pay another tax called BPTIN, uh, Bivis Business Privilege Tax. And I don't know what the IN part is about, but, but it's just a tax you just have to pay just to be in business, you know, which is crazy absurd because they have so many different freaking taxes before you can even make a dollar. You can't, before you even make a dollar, you gotta pay a thousand dollars in taxes before you even make a, before you even make your first job. And not only that, the way the tax system we went to a tax class, the way it was set up was if you lose, if you don't make any money in your business, you do nothing but lose due to paying tax due to paying taxes, then you're penalized for that. You know. So it's crazy. It's a crazy world. But, you know, I say if you're starting a business out there. You definitely don't need to just up and like not have.
some kind of source of income, you definitely need to take whatever income that you have and invest it into developing uh, whatever idea you have. Because whatever idea that you do have, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're thinking about doing something out there in the world, it's a good idea. Nine times out of 10, whatever you think about doing, whatever you're talking about doing or whatever your mind says, hey, I need to do this. Nine times out of 10, it's a good idea. It's just the execution of it, which will be poor and which will determine whether or not you're successful. And you can't determine success through monetary, monetary means. Like meaning, you know, you can't determine whether your business is successful or, or, or not uh, based on the amount of money, based on the amount of money that your business makes. Because all starting businesses don't, don't make a lot of money. No, no starting businesses. Even uh, Procter and Gamble, I think their name is, you know, billion dollar companies. They they didn't start off being successful. Companies like that started making five and ten dollar investments, you know, and then they grew into their success. Where now, you know, they believe in themselves so long that uh, that they just will themselves to success. And uh, the lack of uh, entrepreneurship in the uh, in the black community, you know, you I would say minorities, but other minorities know how to become successful. You know, Hispanics they come to America and they're they're very successful. Not all, you know, nothing applies to all. Not all white people are successful. Not all, you know, Hispanics are successful. Not all Asian people are successful. No, none of every group is successful. It's just some groups of ethnicities understand basic prim principles to uh, finding success and a lot of things that hold uh, people in the black community back. Other communities don't have that, such as faith, you know? A lot of people in the black community like to go to a church building and put leave their faith at the door in the church building when uh, other communities don't do that. Other communities don't lead their faith at the uh, church building. They bring their faith along with them and put it in their financial endeavors. You got to do that too. You know, I know at one point in my life, uh, when I was younger, uh, before I joined the military, uh, I had that problem too. I didn't believe in the things that I, would, I was doing then, but when I joined in the military, like when I joined the military after I got out and you know, I started my first business and I saw how well my first business did. Um, after that, it was over. I said, anything that I start, as long as I keep putting the effort towards it, it's gonna grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, for sure, everything after that has been that way, you know? You know, I don't expect to be overnight to be the most successful person in America. And by the end of my journey, I don't I don't plan on being the wealthiest person in America by the end of this journey. But by the end of my life's journey, I just uh, really have expectations to leave at least three or four businesses behind, uh, well-established businesses. You know, before I die, I would like to cultivate three or four different businesses and leave them behind. You know, I would like to, you know, purchase, you know, uh, at least two more properties before I, before it's all over. You know, I would like to purchase um, some commercial real estate as well. I would like to purchase a few pieces of commercial real estate. You know, really, I don't have the idea for a commercial real estate right now. But you know, if anything, I could purchase uh, a commercial building, just use it as an office. If I can't use it for anything else, me and my wife are talking about that. There's buildings for sale around where we stay. And we said, you know, later on, we're pretty sure more buildings will become, will become available. And hey, if we have the finances at some point to get one of those buildings, we just will, whether it's just to you know, put a PlayStation up there and a TV and some chairs and just uh, after work or something, go up there and just lounge or 
park park our vehicles there and just leave some of our vehicles there to uh alleviate some of the clutter on our property you know for whatever purpose purpose just get it to have it because uh you know somebody else look at that put on all that put on a hoodie uh uh, uh put on a sweat shirt with a hoodie put on long pants and still about to drop the phone can't even, can't even look in the camera to see if it's level or what ain't even looking in the camera to see if the camera's picking up me or or if it's picking up just whatever <laughs> can't even look in the camera to hold it steady because of fear of the outdoors that's when you know you got a problem when you're that afraid of the outdoors that you can't even hold the phone up and, and look into it to see if you're getting a good shot or something like that you got a real problem this I lady do. has a real problem i do i know glad mm -hmm. you can admit it but uh you know when you say stuff like hey let me purchase a piece of commercial real estate you don't think about hey do i have some big business idea right now for the building you think hey if i hold on to the building it's only going to appreciate in value the, the value of it is only going to go up in time and two, you know, if nothing else, you know, my children might find joy in the building. Or they might come up with an idea that would be perfect for it. Who knows? You know? But don't be afraid. If you see an investment out there and you're on the fringe, like, let's say, at the end of the day, at the end of the month, you know, you have $400. $400. You just, all you had it's four hundred dollars left over at the end of the month but you normally take that four hundred dollars and you uh i say you normally take the four hundred dollars and you entertain yourself with it you know a lot of times you can find a piece of commercial real estate for four hundred dollars a month instead of entertaining yourself you can purchase it spend your time that you would normally entertain with yourself uh looking at diy videos and uh, make alterations to that building, renovate the building, fix it up, you know? After you've renovated and fixed it up, you're paying $400 a month on it. You know, you're building up equity in it. Turn around, after you made your repairs, calculate your cost, and sell it 10% over 10 over your total investment, whatever you invested into it, plus whatever, plus whatever uh, the overall cost of the building would be video. all right guys this video has been too long 20 minute video man i'm giving y'all all this all this game out here that's coming from my mind you know because i know everybody isn't an entrepreneur and everybody doesn't think with an entrepreneur mind state but since the entrepreneur and me is wide awake you know that's all i think about is business opportunities and uh if that's not you yet, well, I'm glad that you live watching this video. And uh, if it doesn't turn on for you today, if it doesn't click in your mind to be an entrepreneur today, or you don't, or you say, you know what, I don't have the money to invest, but I can, I can put fifty dollars away every month. You know, put that fifty dollars away. You know, for a year. $600, you can get your first start. I promise you, $600, you can jump into any business you want. You know, you can even become a car dealer for $600. It's only $500 to get your uh, your uh, dealer's license. $500 to get your dealer's license. You can go to the auction and get your, get your car for $500 all day. You know, so that's what I mean. Like, it doesn't take much to get in any, any business or any field. And, uh, but thank you for this video, for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Yeah. And we'll see you on another one. We're going to turn around and make another video right now. Continue on this one. But hit it. <laughs> so.